this is for problem number 5 to 10. Okay, 5 to 10. What will be the future worth of money? Ayan na, future worth. Inahanap yung future. Future worth. Ayan. So, we are up to find the yung future worth. Hindi natin alam. You are given N na 20 months. If the sum of... Uh, ilan yan? 25,000 is invested today at a simple interest. Per year to, per year. So, you convert mo to into year. Okay? Naka-rate siya 8% per year. Okay? Co-convert mo in 20 months per year. In a year. So, 20, 20. Okay? F will be equal to T plus 1 plus I N. So, future. Okay? Yung P, ano ba yung P natin? That is 25,000 multiplied natin ng 1 plus ano ba yung I natin? 1 plus our I will be 0 0.08 per year to. Okay? Dapat ito, i-convert natin. In 20 months, meron tayong uh, 12 months in a year. So, 20 Divide by 12. Yeah. So, nag-exceed pa yun. So, this will be 25,000 times 1 plus, excuse me, so, 0 0.08 times 20 divide by 12. So, how much will be your future worth? The future worth will be 28,000. 28,000. 28,333. And 33 cents. Yan ang ating future worth. Okay? Ganun lang yun. Dapat itatapat mo siya. Kung months, months din ang pag-divide mo. Pag days, days din ang pag-divide mo. Okay? Tama ba? This is the uh, process. For problem number 6, find the interest amount and the future value. Interest amount, so that is malaking I, and then the future value, this is F. For the following loan, ang principal mo is 6,320 interest. Six, uh, principal, 6,320 interest rate 4%. From June 5 to Ju December 15, 20, 2005. So, uh, binigay yung date. Therefore, this is exact, simple interest. So, meron kang P uh, sa 6,320. Okay. Meron kang interest rate na 4%. Meron kang dates na June. Okay. 2005. So, divide natin ng 4 in order for us to know if this is leap year. 2, 5, 0, 0, divide by, hindi, 2,005. Divide by 4. And uh, I think this is not, ano, hindi to leap year. Not leap year. Yeah. So, uh, bilangin ulit natin. Exact to, ah. So, saan tayo nagsimula? June. So, dito ka na lang muna. Hindi mo na ililist sa January. Go to June ka na. January, February, March, April, May, June. So, uh, 30 ang June mo. So, na yun. Medyo nakakagamayan mo na. June. Yan, June. So, uh, 30. Nagsimula ka ng 5. So, June 30 minus 5. July. That is 31. August, 31. September, that is 30. October, that is 31. November, that is 30. December, that is 31. 
Kaya lang, hindi na natin ibibilang yung December kasi hanggang 15 na lang magraran yung loan mo. So, that is 15. So, anong hinahanap natin? The interest rate na lang muna. Ay. Yan. So, uh, let us find the 30 minus 5, that is 25, plus 31, plus 31, okay, 31 plus 31, plus 30, plus 31, plus 30, plus 15. That is 193 days. Ang days mo is 193 days. Exact to ah. Exact. So, I, ang principal mo is 6, uh, 3,000, ano nga? 6,320. 6,320. Yan. Tapos yung interest is 0.04 kasi 4%. And then, 193. Hindi naman leap year yan, so 365. Okay, so I will be okay, 6,320 times 0 0.04 if correct ako. Tama. Times uh, 193 divided by 365. Okay, so 133.67, yan ang tinubo mo, 133.67 pesos in, ano, in 193 days, yan ang tubo niya. So for the future worth, F, F will be equal to P plus I. So ano yung P mo, 6,320 plus 133.67. Plus ko na lang to. 6,320. 6, okay? The answer will be 6,453.67. 6,453.67 pesos. Yun. So, uh, that is for problem numbers 5 and 6. Okay? So, that is the way you will solve it. Ilista mo yung araw, tapos yung last day niya, yun yun yung running rate niya yun. Or running number of days niya na yun. Hindi mo na kailangan i-minus. Ang lagi mo na minus yung unahan laang. Okay? So, let us take a five-minute break.